and as you can see nothing's changed from the last tutorial I am I've lost my train of thought a little bit I'm currently trying to position my units so that I'm ready for the oncoming assault um, I know I just built a unit this this castle unfortunately still doesn't have a population large enough to build any units that is going to get a little painful at some point so I may actually sacrifice a little bit of my material even though I know I changed that at the end of the last tutorial this man was just built so I can't move him this man's in defensive position so here we go good luck little pikeman ah my pikeman survived that's the advantage of defensive terrain I can't tell from here whether I destroyed the short sword horseman who was coming at me but I have a suspicion that I did so now with with this unit who's hurt I clearly could go back to my base of operations and try to get him to heal but one of the advantages of cheap units even if they are experienced you can see he's gained his gained his level um, is that they are cheap and pretty easy to replace so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take him into the mountains and I am going to hope that the computer decides to attack him now it would behoove me to get to one of the adjacent units or adjacent squares for this castle so that I can start a siege but really my most important thought right now is to try to find a way to get rid of that that horseman and I may even be able to start a siege with my um, third infantry and he has a morning star which would be good too so I'm gonna try to march him up and I can I can start a siege I'm now adjacent to this castle which means the castle which is called Windsor surprisingly enough um, is not going to be able to produce units and it's gonna start to lose health the downfall is that that horseman may decide to attack my sieging unit um, I don't know if he will or not but if he does at least I'm in the forest let me grab my archer and he can start his long march up it's gonna take him a while um, with longbowmen they have a range of two so a good strategy always is to try to keep some sort of defensive unit in front of them so that they can't be directly attacked and then they can hit people from range unfortunately he's not going to be able to get into the fray this turn as you can see now Odin's spite has a large enough population to be able to build a unit if I wanted to first I'm just gonna look at the general economy so here I am I have 95 gold that's plus one a turn a minus three material the way material and gold interplay in this game is you're gonna spend the material maintenance cost of your units every turn if you have the material if you produce it then you're just going to spend that material on your maintenance which is great if you don't you're gonna to need to replace it by spending your gold so my minus three material is actually being converted into gold and when you purchase material with gold it is less efficient than building the material yourself so although it works it's not the best way to run your economy but it certainly can can get you through some tough spots although I really don't want to decrease the population of this castle again it's close enough to the front line that I'm going to I'm gonna build a unit there I know what I've been fighting um, horsemen with no armor and a short sword and I am actually going to build some sort of lightly armored unit the maintenance is gonna is gonna go sky high but I may be able to do something with my other city uh, as you can see a sky high 18 I mean that's nothing compared to a heavily armored unit but this unit will be strong I should be able to afford it and what I really need to do is take that other castle so I'm gonna recruit him there we go he'll be ready next turn now I go back to my ducal camp and I am going to sacrifice a little bit of my population growth that got me an extra eight uh, heck I'm going all the way um, so now as you can see my population is not going to grow that's not a very good position to be in better than the population shrinking which it would happen if I transferred more people away from food 
but my population is not going to grow but it should be I should be okay on material this is a kind of dangerous strategy but I'm hoping to be able to take that city and here we go so what happened here clearly our friend decided to attack my morning star troop although he took some damage he damaged my guy a lot too I am going to take him out with my pikemen and my pikemen will take over the siege additionally I'm gonna move my archers up into a defensive position actually I'm gonna put them on this mountain that means I'm not gonna be able to attack this turn which is a bit of a shame but it means if someone sneaks up and attacks me I should be okay although he is cheap I am gonna bring my third infantry down to start to heal if he stays within the zone of control the, the adjacent hexes of my castle he will heal and I'm going to march up my real unit to get in position to siege next turn and since this man is in siege position now that health will continue to decrease now the enemy brought some more troops forward that's actually an expensive troop you can see the little hammer that means he builds castles for them um, and he has light armor so it's probably a pretty good pretty good match for my man I just moved him up and, and stopped him you can see down here that my morning star man um, healed too he'll continue to heal as long as he's close to that castle and I have a dilemma with my archer he's in position to shoot the castle although they're not particularly effective at that I'm gonna bring him into the plains and have him fire a couple volleys off into that man he only took out one health but that's better than nothing and now I'm gonna go after him with my longsword troop as you can see there was a defensive fire phase from the castle and he took a shot at me uh, but he didn't damage me too much I then need to look at my economy again see what's going on I was only minus two on material so not all that bad I don't like not growing that castle however this castle growing but slowly I don't really like that either um, this is not a particularly tenable position I've put myself in but if I can take that castle it'll all be worth it now unfortunately I'm running out of time again so that'll be the end of tutorial 2 and we will continue it in the next tutorial thank you